Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Shifts and Pucks News Pack for Friday, March 11th. You can, of course, follow us on Twitter at Shifts and Pucks, Facebook.com Shifts and Pucks, YouTube.com Shifts and Pucks, Twitch.com Shifts or Pucks, or you can subscribe to wherever you get your audio, as well as on the Area 51 Sports Network, as it is a Canucks game day tonight as they face Wal- the Washington Capitals, Alex Ovechkin in Washington Capitals. He has the opportunity to become the third all-time goal scorer. If he scores a goal tonight, passing Yarmar Yager. Uh, so that's one of four games of the NHL tonight. But before we get to that, we'll get into the reminder that we do have our contest with the Pig and Duke in Calgary, where you have an opportunity to win tickets to the Vancouver Canucks and Calgary Flames game on April the 23rd at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome to hang out with Chris, Sean, and Devin. And uh, tickets to the game, hang out with the Pig and Duke. Uh, listen for our Word of the Week, which is on Mondays and Wednesdays podcast. We flipped it last week. Of course, Monday we talked Flames. Wednesday we talked Canucks, as we did two different pregame shows. And then on, uh, so you can retweet those message at Shifts and Pucks, the word of the week, which is in those podcasts. And of course, retweet our, any of our pod clips, daily pod clips, news packs, and whatever else that we put out there. But uh, we'll get into the news of the day. We'll start with, the, of course, the Vancouver Canucks come in with a record of, uh, I c- come in tonight with a record of 29, 23, and 6. They've won three in a row. They are, they've won eight of their last 10. They are three, just three points behind the Dallas Stars for that final wild card spot. However, the Stars have uh, two games in hand. Uh, so, yeah, lots of interesting cases there. They're four points behind the Vegas Golden Knights for third in the Pacific. Uh, and the Vegas is certainly not rolling at this particular point. The Washington Capitals, of course, uh, came off a th- coming off a 3-2 overtime loss to the Edmonton Oilers, uh, are 31, 18, and 10 at 72 points, and in the second wild card spot in the Eastern Conference, as uh, these teams get themselves ready today for the game. As mentioned, Alex Ovechkin will have. Uh, we'll have the opportunity to pass Yarmar Yager for the all-time line, all-time goal scoring record uh, here. Um, so it's the same, and it's the same lineup for the Canucks tonight against the here as uh, Jason Dickinson's out. He is feeling much better. Bruce Brujo said no timeline for his return as well. So lines Miller, Pearson, Besser. Pedersen, uh, Pedersen with Hoaglander and Garland, Horvat, Pod Colson and Chason, Lamico, Mott and Highmore, Rempel the extra forward defensively, OEL and Myers, Oliver Ackman, Larson and Myers, Quinn Hughes, Lucian, Brad Hunt, Travis Hamanick, and Tucker Poolman and Madison Bowery are the extra defensemen, uh, and Thatcher Gem- Demko getting the call in goal. So other news related here to the Canucks is Arjdeep Baines from the Red Deer Rebels, the lead score in the uh, WHL, has signed an in- entry-level deal with the Canucks. Uh, he hails from Surrey. He, is, uh, he leads the WHL with 52 assists. He has 25 multi-point outings, and uh, he signed a lead. He's t- the 21-year-old at overager, ranks third in the league in power play points with 35. Uh, he made his debut with Red Deer back in December 15, 2017, and in 244 appearances with the Rebels, 179 points, 64 goals, and 115 assists. As So, Arjdeep Baines, a member of the Vancouver Canucks. Now, as the Rebels head into this weekend of hockey, our third in the Eastern Conference, 36-16, and one with 75 points. They've won at seven of their last 10 there. So that's some other news there. Uh, games, other games going on tonight. Vegas is taking on Pittsburgh. At, this is after Jack Eichel uh, made some noise, not on the ice, but off the ice with his comments about the Buffalo Sabres, where he said he never heard that ring that loud. Um, he felt some fans were cheering him, some fans were booing him, um, but certainly created a stir there. Uh, but Buffalo did beat Vegas last night. 
Uh, so Vegas, uh, as mentioned, third in the Pacific right now with 68 points. The Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, third in the Metropolitan. They've lost two in a row, tied with the Rangers with 77 points. The Minnesota Wild headed to Columbus to take on the Columbus Blue Jackets. They had a wild game yesterday against the Detroit Red Wings. The Wild did, which almost led to a goalie fight with Cam Talbot and Alex Nedeljkovic. Uh, near the end of the second period, but they came away with the 6-5 shootout win over the Red Wings. Blue Jackets, of course, uh, stumbling along a little bit here. Uh, they've lost four in a row and at 59 points, 13 points out of a playoff spot. The Winnipeg Jets trying to hang in there to a playoff spot. They take on the New York Islanders tonight. The Islanders uh, won their last game. Uh, and the Jets, of course, uh, played yesterday against the New Jersey Devils. They, uh, the Islanders coming off that 6 nothing win over the Blue Jackets. And then the, uh, the Jets played last night and beat the Devils 2-1. to one. So that's that those they those that's that other game and then so there's only four games tonight and then Washington playing Vancouver Detroit Red Wings play Calgary tomorrow night uh in uh at the Saddle Dome Calgary has back to back games to in at home to Detroit on Saturday in Colorado for a game after the that classic game last week against Colorado uh, we also have the Canucks playing the Tampa Bay Lightning on Sunday as well. So the, both the Flames and Canucks have two games this weekend as well. Yeah, so some of the other news that is going on in the National Hockey League is Mark Stahl has joined Jor his brother Jordan and Eric at 1,000 games played here. He will reach that milestone with the Detroit Red Wings. Uh he he will play it. That will happen on Saturday when the Red Wings play the Calgary Flames. That will be Mark's 1,000th game. So three stalls, the Stall brothers, all three in the National Hockey League. Uh, other news with the Detroit Red Wings is Robbie Fabry is likely out for the season. Uh, some bad news out of Detroit. He has a torn ACL, 30 points in 56 games. Um, he, head coach Jeff Blaschel says, we suspect that Fabs is towards his ACL, uh, that he left in yesterday's second period in the loss in the Minnesota wild. So that's bad news there for the Detroit Red Wings. Joe Pavelski has signed a one-year contract with the Dallas stars. He has, he led the stars in scoring a one-year $5.5 million contract. He is off the UFA market now. Rasmus Ristolainen, if you remember yesterday, signed a contract uh, five years, 25.5. And then earlier this week, Jared McCann was off the UFA boards, uh, signing a five-year, $25 million contract as well. So uh, as far as Johnny Gaudreau, he had a hat trick yesterday. And uh, the Flames say that they're aiming to resign him uh, here. He, uh, he, Brad Trill even said, is, it's the same thing we've said all year. We're going to let it take care of itself behind closed doors. It's been a non-issue. Daryl Sutter talked about how Johnny Gaudreau is one of the top players in the league. He's always been a top player, and he had a hat trick last night. So that uh, is also going on. Lots of games in the WHL tonight. Of course, five teams in the West have clinched playoff spots. Kamloops, Blazers, Everett, Silvertips, Portland, Winterhawks, Seattle Thunderbirds, and Kelowna Rockets. The Edmonton Oil Kings and the Winnipeg Ice have clinched in the East. So that continues on here as we march on to the playoffs. We have the Calgary Hitmen taking on the Moose Jaw Warriors. We've got the Winnipeg Ice taking on the Brandon Wheat Kings. We've got Kamloops, Blazers taking on the Kelowna Rockets. That'll be a home-and-home -home series. Connor Bernard and the uh, Regina Pats take on the Lethbridge Hurricanes. We have the Saskatoon Blades in action against the Prince Albert Raiders. We have the Edmonton Oil Kings taking on the Swift Current Broncos. We and the Red Deer Rebels and Arch Deep Bain takes on the the we have the Rockets and the Blazers. And then the Red Deer Rebels are hosting on uh, the 
Medicine Hat Tigers. Uh, Victoria Rolls take on the Prince George Cougars. Spokane Chiefs take on the Everett Silvertips. Prince Albert uh, or the uh, Portland Winterhawks take on the Seattle Thunderbird. And then the Vancouver Giants take are, and take it on the Tri-City America. So a full slate of WHL action. Check that out on WHL on Area 51. They have a poll question, which a WHL player is the most underrated player as well. So check that out on Twitter as well. We have our pod clip where we talked about Bob brought back an oldie but a goodie when Tyler was talking about what the state of officiating on Brown hockey. So check that out as well. But that is the news pack for this today, uh, Friday, the March the 11th, the two year anniversary since Ruby Gobert, Rudy Gobert from the Utah Jazz was uh, tested positive for COVID and the referee ran down the ice or ran down the floor and stopped the Utah Jazz game. And that pretty much changed the course of history, didn't it? We saw the NBA, NHL stop their season, and we all know what has been going on there. But uh, thanks again here. Of course, you can follow us individually on th- on Twitter, Sean Beery, Canuck 03, Tyler TNOBLE, Devin Gordhouse 09, Chris Schneids, S C H N E I D Z. I'm K E V O L E. Shifts and Pucks on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch, as well as subscribe wherever you get your audio and on the Area 51 Sports Network. We're back with a full podcast Monday as we talk Canucks, and we will talk to you all very soon. Thanks for listening and watching. Have-